What is the most astounding fact you can share with us about the universe? The most astounding fact. The most astounding fact. Is the knowledge that the atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core under extreme temperatures and pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that condense, collapse, form the next generation of solar systems, stars with orbiting planets. And those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that, yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. When I reflect on that fact, I look up. Many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big because my atoms came from those stars. If you could meet and talk with any scientist who's ever lived, who would it be and why? Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. Why? No question about it. Isaac Newton. The smartest person ever, ever to walk the face of this earth. You read his writings. The man was connected to the universe in spooky ways. The most successful scientists in the history of the world are those who pose the right questions. If I ask you, at what temperature does the number seven melt? <laughs> What's the square root of a pork chop? These are meaningless questions. <laughs> Maybe philosophers would run with them, but scientific, they're scientifically meaningless. Abandon them, go on to the next problem. Newton, his questions, reached into the soul of the universe, and he pulled out insights and wisdom that transformed our understanding of our place in the cosmos. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, Ike, why is it that planets orbit in the shape you call ellipses rather than circles? Why that shape? And he says, you know, I, I'll get back to you on that. I'll get back to you. Goes away for a few months, come back. Here's the answer. Here's the answer. Here's why gravity produces ellipses for orbits. The guy said, well, how did you find, figure that out? Well, I had to invent this new kind of mathematics to do it. He invented calculus. Most of us <laughs> sweat through it for multiple years in school just to learn it. He invented it practically on a dare. Hello everyone, what you guys just saw was uh, the most astounding fact the, that uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson has um, discussed with somebody uh, in an interview. I'll leave the link to the interview and the song uh, that I used in the description below. I will be making a commentary hopefully soon about uh, my thoughts and feelings. Um, they're most exactly the same thing. Um, I've been working on a video for the past few hours and... Uh, yesterday as well um yesterday was the 15th and this will be going up i will leave the links to the song and the actual interview with uh neil and uh yeah it's insane and beautiful and i just like to say if you enjoyed then like and favorite it was greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys next time peace